Your back hurt because you've been lifting boxes all freaking day at this warehouse. Your feet hurt because you got to wear these steel toe boots all week and you just desperately reach for the clock out button on a Friday only to get home and realize that your children and your wife do not understand what it's like for you to work back to back doubles all damn week so they made plans for you guys to go to the water park this weekend and you don't want to neglect them because what's the point of having a job if you're going to lose your family so you go with them only for Sunday to magically pop up out of nowhere so it's Sunday evening and they want to watch a family movie then at 7 o'clock you tell them you need a few hours to yourself you don't off and magically you wake up and it's the next morning which is Monday time for hell again now what can free you from all of that this computer can free you from all of that but if you don't be careful this computer can be another ball and chain we talked about that in the 80 hours uh, on my computer but I'm still broke video guys so if you guys are working a job and you are afraid to quit that job, you have to weigh your options, okay? Which one are you more afraid of? Quitting the job or Monday, okay? Now, before you answer that question, I understand that you've been conditioned for this pain. So you feel like, oh, well, you know, I'll make it, I'll get through it. So that might be your initial choice in the comments. You might say, oh, well, you know, I'll choose the Mondays that I hate. But what I want you to look at it is look at it long term. You might only have to quit your job once, which is kind of like ripping off a Band-Aid after you've already been healed. Hopefully, if you do it carefully enough, you won't reopen the scab, right? But going back to work on Monday is like the scab being ripped off on Friday evening, but the like is being reopened every time you go to Monday. Okay, so like the scab, like, you know, <laughs> you ripped off the band-aid, you know what I'm saying, expecting to be healed to rest on the weekend, and then on Monday, the wound is reopened, and you gotta lift those heavy boxes again at that warehouse job, or deal with the unruly customers in the drive through at the fast food place, wherever you work at, or getting pissed off when you're stocking the shelves at the Walgreens, and the people keep asking you where stuff is. You like, dude, don't you see me stocking this right here? There's another employee walking around over there, go ask them, right? But you can't say that because you'll get fired. <laughs> so what do you say to this, man? Like, what are you gonna do? I'm asking y'all genuinely, like I know what I did. I remember when I was so frustrated, this is the end of, or like the middle of 2014. Um, and I got on the phone with my wife. My wife was supposed to come pick me up, right? Um, from work and she can hear it all in my voice that I was depressed and that I was just exhausted I had just got rehired back at the uh, the city bus metro bus in st. Louis I had just got hired back from being you know fired a while ago <laughs> I wasn't cut out to work this job bull crap and I know some of you guys feel like that But I didn't know what to do. I didn't know nothing about entrepreneurship at the time So what I did was I went back to work. I begged them Yes, yes, I begged them anti-job. I begged them at the time, yo, give me another shot, you understand? But when I came back, I was on something called a points system. And uh, you get 24 points and then you get fired. They brought me back, but they put me back on probation, which was 22 points. So the, the anxiety of like, yo, if I make any wrong move, I'll be back at 24 points. I can't call off for emergencies if I'm sick or if somebody get hurt or, or anything like that because I used up all my points, right? So it's like, dog, you just in this anxiety and depression filled relationship with a boss that you don't even freaking like or know and you're, 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 <laughs> You're gonna choose going back to Monday, okay? So check this out. So when my wife called me, she was like, yo, I can hear it in your voice, what's wrong? And I was like, man, I'm tired of this. I know I just begged them back for this job and I know we got kids now and, and I'm supposed to take care of my wife, but like, I gotta figure something else out. I'm tired of this, man. And she said, just quit. 
Now, you gotta realize in this day and age, it's extremely rare for you to find a woman that will tell you something like that, especially a, 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 a black woman, so-called black woman. And I understand, guys, like, you know, you might not have nobody like that, but you have to do what's best for your health. So, you know, I didn't quit on my own. I would have eventually, but when she told me to quit, <laughs> didn't even have a second thought, you understand? I was like, okay, cool. Had no plan, and that's what you guys are at right now. You're at the point where, where if I quit, what am I gonna do? Fortunately for you, I have a few suggestions. Keep watching, okay? But I had no plan. I had like no no knowledge of real estate that I know now. I had no knowledge of online marketing or any type of marketing agencies. That stuff wasn't happening around 2014. It existed, but it wasn't popular. YouTube wasn't even the thing that I did unless I went to go watch some type of UFC compilation or something, right? So, so I quit and I was able to pull out, a, um, thank God, a $6,000 pension, right? Um, and we just left St. Louis and went to Paducah, Kentucky. And, uh, you know, while we was there in this little small, crazy town, um, I was trying to figure out this money thing. Like I started watching infomercials from Anthony Morrison and he was doing affiliate marketing. I didn't know what the hell that was. Then these, uh, this course called Google Sniper came out. That's how I was first introduced to SEO. And then I went on YouTube and started watching videos from Alex Becker back when he did SEO. <clears throat> and the OMG millionaires and stuff. See, I'm telling my age. And, um, you know, then I ran into the flip man, right? The flip man, and he was doing, um, you know, wholesaling real estate. And I was like, yo, that sounds cool. So I started like figuring that out. But it all started when I went to the library when I was out there. That's what I should have told y'all that. That's how my journey started. I ran into this book called The Laptop Millionaire. And that's what made me start exploring online and watching these infomercials and all of that stuff. Y'all, I strongly recommend y'all get that book. Um, but anyway, guys, after a while of trying the real estate thing and having a little success with that, um, I didn't want to be like everybody else that was on YouTube or I mean on Craigslist posting their listings on there or putting up bandit signs. So I started figuring out how to try this SEO thing with the real estate, with the wholesale and real estate. And I started getting way more leads than everybody else. And that's how I got into lead generation. Then I started switching to doing it for limos and then I did it for myself. And then ta-da, now we're here and I have the school and everything. But the point is now, since I chose to never clock back in on that Monday, now I live a life where the mountains are in my backyard. I got the mountains in my backyard and I have the beach in my front yard with the ocean. So I know you are afraid right now. And you're like, okay, if I choose to quit, how do I know I'm not gonna fall flat on my butt? Well, this is what you need to do. You need to have a plan. See, I just quit on the fly, right? Maybe you're not in a position to do that. If I could go back, I would have had some type of preparation, some type of course, some type of tutelage, mentor or something that I was in or anything like that, right? Okay, the Bible says, before you take action, first seek wise counsel. So I've been through what you've been through, the quitting, the fear, the anxiety, all of that. I had over a hundred something jobs in my damn lifetime. I've been a bus driver, flight attendant, over the road truck driver, warehouse, forklift, all of these damn jobs since I was 13 years old. So I understand how it's gonna be a culture shock for you to become an entrepreneur, but you can't let that stop you from fulfilling your purpose and freeing yourself as well as your family. Can't let that fear, because guess what? Monday is scary too. And even worse, an eternity of Mondays is scary. You always being happy, on Friday, only to become miserable and come back to reality on Monday. Friday, Monday, Friday, Monday. That's your life, that's your future. And that sucks, okay? So if you go to the first pinned comment, we have a 297 copy and paste. I made a copy and paste simple, copy and paste rental business program. So you'll be in a rental business, you don't need any equipment, you don't need any experience, and you can go through the channel, you can see all of the testimonials, but stop watching testimonials and become one. Clock out and never see another Monday at a job again.